In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called analyzing a galvanic cell. In this problem, we're given a redox reaction, and then we are being asked to write the half reaction that's taking place at the cathode and also the anode and calculate the voltage of the cell. We are going to need to be using data from the Alex data tab, which is this link right here. And inside this data tab, you're going to find this table of half reactions, which is what I have pasted over here as a PDF. This We're gonna actually use this not just to get the voltage, but to help us write these half reactions. So the first thing that we wanna do is just kind of figure out what we're working with in this equation. One of our half reactions involves Br2 turning into Br- aqueous. And our other half reaction involves this chromium CrOH3 turning into CrO4. And I'm not exactly sure where the OH and the H2O fit into the equation quite yet. But I do know that I want to match the bromines up and I want to match the chromiums up in the equation. That's enough information for me to get started. What I'm going to do next is go over to this table of half reactions and I'm going to look for these particular molecules. I'm going to begin by looking for the Br2 because that's just the one that's first in the equation. This particular table of half reactions is sorted alphabetically so my bromines are up here on the top and I'm just kind of zooming in. Here is that reaction right there. This is the one that we're looking for. Br2 liquid turning into Br minus ions. And this even has the electrons built into it for us. So for this, all that we have to do is copy this exactly the way that it's written down in here into the correct spot. Um, before we copy, because we've got two different places to put it, we've got to make sure we get it in the right spot. Cathode, our trick to help us remember is red cat. So that's telling us that the reduction is taking place at the cathode. So in this box, we want to be writing the reaction that is the reduction reaction. And reduction is the reaction where electrons are being gained or added to the reactant. So that's this reaction right here, which means I'm gonna write it exactly the way that it's shown in this table. Br2 liquid plus two electrons makes 2Br- minus aqueous, and it's totally okay that I'm using different stoichiometric coefficients here than what I used up here. That's completely fine. Alex doesn't need you to match these coefficients up with each other. This equation just needs to be independently balanced. Now I'm also, because I'm going to need the E-cell value because we're being asked to calculate E-cell down here, I'm also, while I'm at this bromine, uh, bromine equation, I'm going to copy the, the voltage so that we can kind of simultaneously calculate our E cell. So here's our bromine reaction, and then we're gonna go over here and find the voltage. It is 1.066 volts. Okay, so that means that um, we've got half of this done. Now we're gonna look for the chromium chromium. And this one, this one is, is gonna be an oxidation reaction. This is taking place at the anode, which means that in this table of half reactions, the chromium reaction is actually gonna be written backwards um, because the chromium is an oxidation. Uh, and again, these are all written as reductions. So we're looking for a reaction where CrO42 minus is the reactant. And it looks like it's right here. CrO42 minus plus water, there's that guy right there turning into CrOH3 and some OH minuses. Again, stoichiometric coefficients are not exactly the same, but that's okay. Now, before we copy this equation down into this box, remember that on the table, it is written as a reduction, but in our situation, it's taking place as an oxidation, which means we wanna copy it in reverse of what's in this Alex table. We want CrOH3 solid on the left-hand side, not on the right hand side. 5OH minus aqueous, which makes our products are CrO4 2 minus aqueous plus 4H2O liquid plus three electrons. And again, it's okay that the coefficients are not the same as they are in the equation, and it's okay that the number of electrons don't match up. That's totally fine. And let's get the voltage for this half reaction. It is negative 0.13. And so now we can calculate the overall voltage. It says to two decimal places. And one thing I've noticed with these Alex problems is it really does kind of change its criteria about like what it wants you to enter in terms of sig figs or decimal places or things like that. So just make sure you're always double checking that. 1.20 volts.